morning guys and welcome back uh, in the channel today i'm going to explore to visit this fantastic place that is the jar gesture it's a place where uh, they live the last wild horses in europe or at least is uh, uh, it's uh, what there is uh, written uh, on the internet so it's the first time here uh, for me so I'm really excited and I hope to to be able uh, to show you something of interesting of course the horses uh, that are really uh, that, that are typical uh, of these uh, uh, of this um, country uh, because they are um, smaller than the normal uh, horses uh, in, uh, basically uh, are the typical Sardinian horses uh, wild horses of course uh, but let's crack on okay guys uh, here we are the first horses I don't know if you can see them Wonderful. Uh, they are pretty far. So I think I'll try to uh, go around the this little pond. So uh, follow me. Of course, I don't want to scare them, so uh, I'll try to be uh, to be more uh, quiet as possible. Now I'm I'll try to go closer. It's scorching today, it's really hot. Uh, yes, but I knew that uh, but it was here, it, it it was so it was so cold. So uh, so hot. I I have to be really careful. Do not scare them. There you go. Um, I had to to put the GoPro in charge because, as always, the battery uh, it's useless. Anyway, there are a lot of uh, horses here, and there are the little horses. Wonderful. You, mm, you stay in the shade but I don't know where to go Okay, now I'm quite in the shade of these bushes, not so much, but I'm closer to the horses. Uh, 
Miss Creek on. you are in this uh, sunny, uh, sunny day, sunny condition, um, having a white telephoto lens is quite an advantage because it absorbs uh, less, uh, less heat um, from the sun. Um, even though I think uh, that it should be better um, using uh, cover and actually I I have got one so I think I'll, I'll put it okay this is the cover okay it's an unmade uh, cover um, made uh, with a um, neoprene uh, sheet I don't know if it's the right name in English my live session like that um, as you can see I'm using a monopod oh, yes a monopod uh, to be more um, lightweight and to be faster uh, in moving uh, around the environment uh, and to have oh, less weight to carry on uh, uh, wait, wait a moment Uh, one of the little horses uh, was eating from, from the mother. Oh, the milk, the mother milk. Oh, what a wonderful day. It's really quiet. There are only the... Um, there is only the sound of the birds and of the horses eating. Yes, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think uh, we'll pass the majority part of the day eating um, and staying in these, uh, these small lakes lake, yes, in this room, lake or pond, I don't know, um, to stay fresh. Um, even though this, uh, this, this pond um, breathes only, um, only in spring, I, maybe in summer, uh, will be dry. To the to the pond. Oh, a big family. Staying always in nature. There is no price for everything like that. Okay, guys, I'm walking this uh, 
in the main road of this area uh, in order to reach the next spo spot where there is or there will be I think a house I don't know exactly from some of their peoples in this, uh, in this moment maybe for for a walk, for a simple walk, but uh, ah, okay, there is the signal for the Norage and uh, another location. I don't know where to go. Ah, I could go to see the Norage. Yes, why not? Okay. It's only one kilometer, one kilometer, and maybe I'll stay uh, in the woodland, so in the shade. Oh, it's scorching! I can't stand stay under the sun. It's not for me. When I was younger, I could, I could stay under the sun for many hours. Uh, uh, having some bath uh, in a beach uh, or maybe staying in the water for refreshing myself but now I prefer to, uh, to stay in nature uh, as you can see uh, have a look what a beauty And before I uh, have yes a cap. Oh I couldn't stay without the sun is hot. Here there is a lot of water. Uh, oh, there is a bit of water here. Maybe another uh, place place where the horses come to to eat. Ah in fact there is a horse a big horse yes some other horses but, uh, now the light is too harsh for for taking good picture okay there is a, a horse Laid. Maybe in the water. I have, um, I have just uh, photographed um, this uh, nice lizard, and now okay, it's already gone. But it was only uh, a way to to show you how to photograph reptiles. It's quite easy with a long telephoto lens because you can stay far from the subject so without uh, scare them as you can see in, in the picture. In almost every condition uh, you can do wildlife uh, photography even when uh, there is uh, an harsh, uh, uh, harsh light uh, like now even though now I'm uh, under uh, a tree where there was uh, uh, the lizard, you need only to be patient with yourself and with the wildlife. As I said many times, it's a long process, and let's start uh, from you. And you have you have to be always curious uh, of the environment or uh, what happens around you, and to pick up uh, every uh, signal that show you that. Every, uh, that something is happening like like the lizard before so nothing you have to enjoy every time uh, this process this uh, pleasure to stay in nature because it's uh, the only way to uh, to stay well uh, with yourself and with the environment Ah, 
Uh, okay, guys. Uh, the trip uh, it's been quite long and a little bit tiring uh, due to the hot uh, because the temperature temperature um, uh, was and are um, still uh, high. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching as always. Um, if you if you enjoy watching the video, please uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and nothing i hope to see you really soon bye bye